A few months back, VRChat launched the open beta for IK 2.0, an update dedicated to fine-tuning VRChat's IK primarily for full-body tracking. Since then, the update has released, and many cool new features have been added. If you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check out my last video on IK 2.0, but essentially, VRChat's IK has been completely revamped to allow for more reliable tracking, support for more trackers, and more IK configuration options. With the full release, more features and changes have been added, even some neat ones that don't relate to IK at all. So let's go over what's new. First off, per tracker IK combinations are now possible. You can mix and match almost any kind of tracker setup. This means you can use just two trackers for elbow tracking or one foot tracker, for example. If a tracker disconnects, the IK will readjust tracking for whatever trackers are still available. Now, thanks to this, I can actually show you the next feature personally, which is that VRChat now supports using a chest tracker, making up to 11 points of tracking now possible. Previously, this was updated to 10 point, making arm and knee tracking possible. Now, you can top that off with a chest tracker for extremely accurate tracking. Chest tracking will twist the chest based on your tracker's rotation, unless you're using the lock all option, which will use both position and rotation. Arm tracking has also been improved to include shoulder tracking, making shrugging now possible. Make sure you wear your tracker above your elbow in order for this to work. Up next is a feature I've personally been wanting to see for a very long time, which is calibration saving. That's right, calibrate once and calibration is saved for all avatars. When changing to a new avatar, the calibrated set of trackers is proportionally remapped to that avatar, so you don't have to calibrate again. Really happy to see this one, so now it can be lazy more consistently. Some more advanced settings for IK adjustment have been added in the form of launch arguments. If any of these settings seem desirable to you, I'll have a link to the full list of launch options in the description. And finally, aside from IK, the maximum amount of avatar parameter memory space has been doubled from 128 to 256 bits. If you use OSC programs on your avatar, you may find this to be a useful change as those typically use a large amount of parameters. Make sure you update your SDK to actually get to use the updated parameter space. And that's about all the major changes from the full release of IK 2.0. If you'd like to see what else changed, I'll have a link to the full release notes in the description. Now, go spend ridiculous amounts of money buying extra trackers so you can keep laying down watching YouTube.